My name is Diana and I'm with Arizona Wig Boutique. Today I want to share how easy it is to wash your wig. Now first of all people always ask how often do I wash my wig? Well you can wash your wig anywhere from 12 to 45 wearings depending on, on the activity that you do in your wig. Um, some people who don't have a lot of activity can get 45 wearings out of their wigs and they'll be okay to wash it then. Some people who work outside or who perspire a lot or are usually warm in their wigs will probably tend to wear, wash their wigs about every 12 wearings. So the least amount of times that you wash a wig will help your wig last longer and look beautiful and you'll have best results in the end. Well before we start shampooing our hair, we want to take a wide tooth comb and brush through your wig. Just making sure all the tangles are out so that it doesn't get any more tangled while you're washing your piece. Next, I'm going to put my comb down here and then I want to turn on my water. Always keep it in mind to use cooler water. I want to fill up my basin here and I'm going to use Brandywine shampoo. Just kind of swish the water around a little bit to get the suds going. Using a pinch of baking soda along with your shampoo will also help neutralize any odors such as smoking. Um, it will also break up product buildup if you tend to use wig mousse or wig hairspray. Now next you want to take your whole wig and you want to think of it as wash, washing your delicates in your sink. Put a little bit more water in the sink here. Now you want to take the wig and just fully submerge the whole wig just gently you know, swishing it back and forth, just like this. And then next you want to go into the wig, go ahead and scrub the inside of the wig so that'll help take off any perspiration or makeup that you may have on the cap. Washing it back and forth. After that, you want to turn on your faucet and just completely rinse out all the shampoo and the conditioner, or the shampoo. Again, reminding you to use cold water. The reason why we use cold water is it just helps the wig last longer. If you're washing a curly wig, warm water will also tend to loosen the curl. Now, if you want to loosen the curl, it's a good idea to have a little bit warmer. But if you want to keep the shot style and the shape, always use the cold water. Right. So there we go. Now, what we want to do is do the same thing like we did with this shampoo. We want to fill our sink back up again with some cool water and you want to use a dime size of conditioner. Now it's important to only use a dime size of conditioner. This will also help keep the wig nice and soft. Now if we use too much conditioner in the sink, then it will tend to, again, loosen the curl a little bit. So again, we just want to soak that in there. After you get done swishing that back and forth, gently like you do with the shampoo, you want to turn your cool water back on and thoroughly rinse out all of the conditioner. Normally when I wash my wig in the sink, I like to put my finger right where the part is so then I, it just kind of stays there and I don't have to find it later. So now what we want to do is just gently squeeze out some of the water here. Then I want to take my towel, put it in between my towel, and gently towel blot the excess water. Now after we've towel blotted our wig, um, what I like to do with most of my wigs, because I like a little bit of volume in the crown, is I'll take my wig and just gently shake it upside down. And this is the most common way to hang your wigs out to air dry. Now if you do this at night, it only takes a few hours, uh, anywhere from three to five hours for it to air dry. And uh, the next morning it would be ready for you. So you just take your hanger, put it right through the back of your wig, and then just hang it up there to air dry just like that. 
Now, for someone who doesn't like volume in their wig, you wouldn't hang it this way upside down because that would give you too much volume. For someone who would like to keep the volume minimized on their wig, again, you would just shake it upside down. And another reminder is never brush through your wig while it's wet because it'll stretch the fiber and um, reshape it. So always just kind of finger comb it a little bit there. And then for something where you don't have a want a lot of volume, you can just set it right there on top of your travel stand and just let it air dry that way. Two important things that we like you to remember about washing your wigs. Here at Arizona Wig Boutique, we like to recommend that you do use wig shampoo and conditioner to wash your wig. Therefore, it helps your wig last longer and looking more beautiful. We also like to remind you, do not brush your wig while it's wet. After it's done drying, then that's when you can definitely take your brush and brush through it to make it look, also look beautiful.